What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, today I want to do a video as an update to the uh, JLT catch can that I bought and installed. Um, I put it on the car back in the middle of December, it's now the end of January. Uh, and in that time I've put probably maybe about 3,000 or so miles on the car. Um, so today I want to take the can off and, and see you know, if it's collected any oil and if so how much. Uh, to kind of give proof for some of those people that are, you know, on the fence about whether, you know, having one is beneficial or not. I also wanted to uh, uh, highlight a couple of things that um, I missed in the original video. Um, and speaking of the original video, I will be linking it uh, at the top of this video. Um, but there were uh, at least one thing that I missed. Um, and there's one thing that I want to correct from the first video. So, um first thing I wanted to go over is uh, I don't believe in the first video I really talked about how to take off um, the uh, the rail cover so um, not sure about other model of Mopars like the scat packs or the 392s or the 5.7s but for the Hellcat this is just clipped on so it's literally just it just pops right off of there and pulls out so um, that was uh, one thing I wanted to uh, mention that I hadn't mentioned in the first video. Okay, one of the other things I wanted to talk about before actually checking the can to see if there's oil in it is um, uh, replace or you know taking off the uh, factory hose. Um, I think in the first video I did, I probably explained it incorrectly and, and I actually probably got lucky taking mine off. Um, so the hose, you know, if you haven't already done this, the hose is connected over here. Uh, much like the JLT can hose is connected now. Um, and at the time, what I said was, if you take a small screwdriver and you pry it into that little tab there and pull that little tab out, it'll come off. Um, in my case, it did come off and I got lucky because I probably could have broke the tab doing it that way. If you look inside, I don't know if you'll be able to see, and let me turn here. So if you see, you know, basically prying that is prying the entire ring there um, and that actually has the potential to break the damn thing so what I found doing uh, after taking this off and putting it on a couple of times um, what I found the best thing for me at least was to take the side off of the intake swing the hose up and around and after the hose is swung up and around you can see this little tiny tab right there and if you fingers gonna get in the way here so see if I can do this so if you push up on that little tab, you can see that little tab moves. Let's see here if I can do this with this shit. All right, let's try this way. So you can see the little tab. Hopefully you can see that. The little tab moves up and down. So when you move that little tab up, you can actually pull it to the front. You can see how that piece is in there flexing. And that will allow the... Uh, the thing to come off um, and then you just need to make sure you push it back down in um, because that's actually how it clamps around the the connection when you put it on the valve cover um, so I just wanted to make sure that uh, I updated that because you know I would hate for somebody to try to do it the way I did it and, and you know I got lucky and didn't break it but you know somebody else might try it and break it and then I would feel uh, pretty horrible about that all right so now I'm gonna set the camera up um, so I don't have to hold it while I'm doing this and take the can off and we'll see what we have. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take the can off and let's see what we have. Wow. That is just crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but this car only has about maybe 3,000 miles since I put the can on it. And you can see the can is completely full. That is just crazy. Um, I did not expect that. I expected maybe 
half a can, a little under a quarter of a can, considering it hasn't been on that long. Um, that is just mind-numbing uh, how much oil's in that. Um, I actually think that it was uh, gotten to the point that it was full and it was sending oil back in anyway uh, because off of camera I took the whole thing off of the car uh, to loosen the can because I put a death grip on the thing when I installed it and uh, it ended up that oil when I had it over at my workbench oil was actually dripping out of this um, so I think that that thing is probably over full you can actually see the oil is up to the threads um, I've seen people online say that they only check this thing every time they do the oil change. Um, I don't know what frequency people are doing the oil changes. I generally do my oil changes every 3,000 miles. Well, I let the dealer do the oil change every 3,000 miles. Um, and I'm actually going to be taking this in soon to have an oil change done. Uh, since I did just put 3,000 miles on it through December uh, for a road trip. But, uh, yeah, I mean... It, I'm actually kind of speechless. Um, it kind of actually scares me that uh, the car had probably about 5,000 miles on it before I put this thing on it. So, you know, how much oil was making it back into the intake is just astonishing in my in my case. Um, I don't have one on the driver's side. I do only have the one on the passenger side. Um, everybody says the driver's side's dry. <laughs> uh, maybe. With the amount of oil that I'm seeing, maybe I should put one on the driver's side, who knows. But if you've been on the fence about whether an oil catch can is a good idea, uh, and, and whether they actually will get any oil, uh, I don't know what your case will be, but you can see from my case, at about 3,000 miles, this thing is completely full. Um, now, of course, that was a lot of uh, spirited driving in that 3,000 miles, so... I don't know if that plays into it or not, um, but if it does, maybe that's why I'm seeing more. Maybe uh, under regular driving conditions and you know not hammering the car so much, you know maybe it doesn't collect as much. But um, in the end, uh, you can see it definitely catches oil, and uh, at least from my position or my perspective uh, on the Hellcats, I think it's a it's a good idea, it's probably a good investment. Um, actually, it makes me wonder how low the oil in my car is right now considering there's that much in that can um, but that's a whole different subject and a whole different video so uh, thanks for watching and if this is your first time to the channel please subscribe share the video like comment I try to respond to all comments uh, so again thanks for watching